Hey girl. Hi girl. You've just woken up. Madame, we had a program. I just reached Marina. Where are you guys? Are you ready for the fun? Are you ready for the coolest time right now? Are you ready for the yacht? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to be on a yacht in Dubai in a thong. Yes. <laughs> this reminds me of that meme. You know that girl that keeps saying, I want to go to Dubai and be on a yacht in a thong? <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, we are waiting for you. See you then. Bye, girl. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Clay Chatohaire. Of course, on this channel, we enjoy our lives, and of course, celebrate with one another whatever is happening in the world now today I am at the marina this is a place known for the yachts I could actually say I'm at the pier well today I am going to have an exciting moment with my friends and I usually we do so many activities here in Dubai as you know a lot of people do come here to just leisure around have a holiday or even a vacation and today we are giving time to ourselves to relax and have fun so come along with me let's have fun Anytime you can, any place you can see. So welcome on board. We are going to start our trip. good to see you welcome back as you know earlier on I was trying to get in touch with Samali and Samali was trying to get in touch with Shakira because we have been talking and planning for this day now I'm currently with the girls what's up what's up what's up, what's up? <laughs> we are in high spirits we just ate a lot of food like you've just seen we drank there were so many drinks here and I just want to thank everyone Shakira and Samali for being here because this is something we've been talking about, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I want to know what took Samali so long? First of all, you woke up, you woke up late and then you took forever. What happened? Um, I had work yesterday, girl. I was so tired, exhausted. So I had to take, I had to sleep for some time. Then I had to wake up, shower, make up, like... I know. I had to rest. I had to rest. Really, I had to rest before I came. This is true. You know, when it actually took, comes to talking about uh, work and then getting up and you know I was working. How easy is it for you to juggle your personal life from work to your personal life? We're busy girls, you know. We're so busy. So uh, each and everything that we do has to be planned. So that explains why we've been planning this for such a long time. And mm. it's so good that we actually made it here on a yacht mm. in Dubai. Dubai. In <laughs> but anyway <laughs> no um yeah so it's difficult but at the same time it takes a lot of commitment you know and if relationships are important to you you, you know friendships we have to build our families away from home and quality time like this comes very 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 handy yeah, so this yeah. is true mm -mm. so tell me about the top things that you like most about dubai one can I tell you Two. first what I don't like? No hesitation. What you like the most about Dubai? One. Okay, tell us what you don't like. Let's flip that. Well, yes. Mike. Let's start. I don't like the heat in the summer. Two. Uh, I don't like the sandstorms. Three. Um, nothing else, I guess. Four. 
You only don't like two things about Dubai. Yes. Wow, Sheikh Maktoum is so proud of you. Tell me, Samali, what do you hate the most about Dubai? What I hate the most about Dubai? I hate it that they get to close the clubs at three. One. Um, we can see the party anymore, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. I hate, I hate, to, I, I hate the sun sometimes, but I don't really mind it because yeah. um, I don't really go out of, to to the sun. And I guess that's it. I love Dubai. So we could generally say that we love Dubai. Currently we're seated on a yacht. It can actually take up to 45 people. But we are about 15 people only. Why? Because it's our time. We're having a lot of fun and we're enjoying this. Now to talk more about friendship here in Dubai. I would like to know, how do you balance friendship? Because you know, unlike at home, you're able to see your friend maybe after work. You're able to... I want to know, where is the balance between work and your life because like you said earlier on you have to create the time but where is that where is that place where you said this is a must shopping maybe has to be done with Samali or where is that spot for you well you know you when you have friends you guys understand each other right so you basically like know your schedules and you know the limits of how a person you know sometimes someone may not be able to have the same day off as you are so when it comes to friendships in Dubai it comes with a lot of compromises mm -hmm. understanding your friends and basically planning it takes a lot of planning and again it goes back to commitment honestly because you know people think that you only commit to like love relation no, not love but like you know what i mean like yeah, relationships yeah. where you know you're gonna get married but even a friendship is a relationship that needs to be cultivated and so when you understand the kind of person that you are dealing with perhaps i have night shifts and you don't have night shifts perhaps i have a shift that is so ridiculous that you would not understand and then we wouldn't be able to meet in the middle so you need to understand my part and i also have to understand your part and then we have to plan and actually you know do what we plan to do because sometimes you plan things and you're like oh we'll do it tomorrow and you know what they say about tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow never comes. It doesn't come. <laughs> Tell me, in Dubai, what most feels like home? In Dubai, what most feels like home? Oh God, um, so what most feels like home? I guess uh, I feel more at home when I go to Dera. Oh. Yeah, when I go to Dera, because you know what? That's where everything is. Like yeah. all the uh, Ugandans, Africans. Then maybe when I go to the African restaurant to meet Ugandans with um everyone with a different story like i really feel home and then maybe there's some club i go to ugandan club i also feel home there that's it nothing else in dubai feels like home okay so if i can remind you samali you said by the end of this year you'll have started and finished your driving school how far hi guys <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm still trying to get the courage. <laughs> okay, so Shakira recently just celebrated her birthday. Happy birthday! Yes, thank you. Please thank you. let me let you know that she was in the Maldives. Okay. She didn't give us any footage. Mm -mm. You can just check out her Instagram. Please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, Miss Kabine. Yes. What please. are your New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolutions. First, I need to, um, well, find a partner. So tell us, go on. Lol, yes, I really need to, like my goal, not, not necessarily a goal, but like on my list, I want to find a partner. Can you allow me to interject? Yes. I actually like the fact that you say that she has never talked about no. it, but this is the thing that happens with life. Mm. When I tell you I really like beans, every time you come and you see beans, you're reminded of me. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to get me beans, even the earth, even God knows what we want. So if you don't say it and confess it out, it will not come to you. So congratulations, girl. Your man is Thank coming. You. <laughs> come to me, baby. Come to me. <laughs> Come to me, I'm ready for you. <laughs> so my second New Year's resolution is I want to, uh, thank you, that's enough. I would like to get into the fit life, you know. I want to get fitter. I want to get to start working out. I want to get my body right, you know. What are you, what are you saying? I know. Well, I know. You're, 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 you've been deleted from this WhatsApp group. <laughs> Uh, Samali, 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 Samali. You know, guys, Samali is uh, my my nail plug. She introduced me to somebody, and you know what I think? What I like about our friendship is the fact that we're all different. My mom always says that if you all have the same friends, the same birds of the same feathers flock together. So that means if you're flocking in one village, you won't flock to another. No. I like the fact that we are all different. So I get to know what's one interest, what she would like. Let's try out this. She is my nail plug. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that explains why Shakira's nails are not done. <laughs> Thank you, Samali, for hooking me up. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, welcome. I think they're still cute. 
Tell us about your sense of fashion, Samali. My sense of fashion. I'm more into street. You've lost your hype. <clears throat> no, I'm more into street fashion. But when I'm with you, I get to change. I always tell you, I always complain. I hate heels. I don't like putting on heels, guys. So this lady here forces me to put on heels. So whenever she tells me that, hey, Sammy, we're going here, and I have to be like, yeah, it's time for me to get heels. And like, I'm like, Clay, do I really need to put on? He's like, yes, girl, you do need. It's like, okay. But I love, I love street fashion. I do. You know, I wish for everybody to have a chance at Sammy's Instagram. You know, she has this very, this very perfect physique. And I can't imagine her wearing this sneakers and flat shoes oh, have you noticed how oh, she walks yeah, in those shoes no, that's the no most, i have not oh my goodness <laughs> when someone is wearing those shoes she just walks like she's tired <laughs> honestly really? yes no. but when she's wearing heels she walks like she has a mission <laughs> she's going somewhere and she looks so beautiful in high heels and you ladies can all agree with me that there's a way heels accentuate your look your style even your attitude yes. So we were still on Shakira telling us about her New Year's resolutions before she decided to talk about her body. Well, okay, maybe I said it the wrong way, but I want to get fit, like I want to get active, you know? So that's, I've been struggling to get into the active life. And so my goal this year is to try and make it a lifestyle okay. per se, you know? So just like both of you, most of my viewers have been asking if I can actually have like uh, maybe a girls uh, games truth or dare and we could call it a series, <laughs> you know, like maybe a series of us or huh? maybe uh, a series that we have to do. What, do you guys think you're up for that? Um, I think I think it's okay for me because yeah, yeah. I, don't any, I don't have something that is really scary to go out. So yeah, it's okay for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm down, girl. Let's do it. So now you know, two of my friends have already agreed. I have one more person. We are going to get a time, maybe sit up in the office or maybe go to a random place, talk about things, talk about life in Dubai, our strategies, our dreams and goals. And we should probably sit down and talk about this Syria. And shout out to our cameraman, our videographer. Hi, Rashid Freestyler. So just go on to his uh, Facebook, follow him. He's also on YouTube and trust me, he's the best. He makes one of the best, like, um, he has one of the best. Yeah, cinematography. One of the best Ugandan cinema. Yeah, that's hey, one. Hey, that's yeah, one. That's that's one. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the best cinematography videos. Let's give it to Kabine for accent. Cinematography videos, you mean? Yes. Oh, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> so until next time, guys, my name is Clayton Tyre. My name is Shakira. Samali. Bye. 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 Bye.